You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we'll see third-year man Mitchell Trubisky and the Chicago Bears as they square off with Russell Wilson and the Seattle Seahawks. With that, let's get up to Seattle. Standing by at CenturyLink Field, here are Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. With the beautiful Puget Sound just to our west, you get a look inside CenturyLink Field here in Seattle. These folks love their football in Seattle. This was the scene a moment ago as the home squad came out of the tunnel, and it was just absolutely deafening in this building. They're set for football. So are we as the Seahawks get set to match up with the Chicago Bears. Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis on hand. And this is a game where the defenses, they need to be on their toes because you've got quarterbacks here, yes, that can throw the football, but they can also run it very well, too. Mobile quarterbacks. Remember for the longest time, they used to tell the quarterbacks, stay in the pocket. We don't want you outside of it at all. Nowadays, that mobility, truly an asset, and people are game planning for it. As a scout told me recently, we are actually working with what the colleges are giving us nowadays. 22 men ready to do battle. It's time to dance. And off we go from Seattle. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. They're led onto the field by their quarterback, a man who's made quite the name for himself in the NFL, and that's Russell Wilson. And when I think of Russell Wilson, I think not just of the big plays that he's made, and those are considerable, but when they were made. Fourth and 26 in a Big Ten championship game against Michigan State when he is with Wisconsin. A big completion helped lead his team to a victory. A big fourth down throw for a touchdown in an NFC championship game. He hit under a heavy rush and down he goes. Akeem Hicks at 6'5", 332, finds his way home for the sack. That's called setting the tone right away. It certainly is, and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line. They talk about it all the time, knowing each other's moves. You've got to be coordinated and in sync, otherwise your quarterback gets hit. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Now it's Wilson eluding the pressure right. And it's hauled in by Nick Vanette. And they work this well up field across the 45. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Now on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. First down, Wilson going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So they saw the contact before the ball arrived. Penalty flag for pass interference. And trying to avoid pass interference is so difficult. You're trying to slow down these skilled receivers. And somehow, some way, they make plays on the football. And sometimes you're there too soon. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. and really gets them amped up as they go forward. And one of the big bodies helping out this offense is your boy, your body. And all he wants to do is have running plays call, fire out, and smack people. Flush touchdown, Seahawks. Yeah. 
solid finish to a solid opening drive, and that's the threat that he represents. He can take off and score on you. What he makes it is 11-on-11 11 11 football because a lot of the times the quarterback isn't much of a runner, so you don't have to account for him, but you do with him, and now he actually gets a lead blocker instead, and he's able to cash that one in. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was Russell Wilson finishing things off with a touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. It's a short kick, taken at the 15. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Quarterback Mitchell Trubisky leading out the Chicago Bears. Former number two overall pick out of Carolina. Big improvements in year two for Trubisky. Touchdown spike from 7 to 24. Yards per game went up by almost 50. And, of course, most importantly, the Bears went from five wins to 12 and an NFC North title. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. First carry from Mike Davis, the former Seahawk. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. And now a look at the offense for Chicago. We often overuse the term heart and soul when we talk about a player being just that for his team, but not in the case of Kyle Long in Chicago. He's shown his ability to be a Pro Bowl guard, a Pro Bowl tackle, but it's his passion for the game, his passion for his teammates that sets the tone for the entire team. Throwing on second down, Trubisky. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The Seahawks, here's their defensive lineup. Now one of the leaders in the Seattle secondary is safety Bradley McDougal. Since the retirement of Cam Chancellor, he's really had to step up and take on a primary role. Excellent against the run, solid in coverage, two interceptions in week one of 2018, and never looked back. Off the play fake, here's Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there of 20 yards. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot, and they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's brought down short by a yard. It's a third down gain of four. How about this for an opening drive decision? You got fourth and short just outside of field goal range in all likelihood. What do you do? I'm going for it. I've got to go get it right now. I want to establish a tone. It's early in the game. I want to let my offense know that I believe in them. And you know something else? I let my defense know I believe in them also by taking that gamble. If we don't get it, it's okay. You guys will cover for me. Automatic first down. Now, to be frank, a silly penalty there trying to block the field goal, and that leads to a fresh set of downs. Now Trubisky throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Allen Robinson, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. From the gun, a give to Davis. 
And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. They get six here after the incompletion, and it'll leave them with a third and four. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Now for the field goal try, here's Eddie Pinheiro. From the left hash, this from 34. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So, yes, it's only three, but at least they're able to answer back after giving up the touchdown to start the game. Yeah, I like the observation there because getting some points on the board, very positive for them. Feel a little bit better about things because if you don't score, you potentially have opened the door for them to score again, and then you're down 14. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. On first and ten, it's Wilson. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. And here are the Chicago defensive starters. Ha Ha Clinton Dix attracted a lot of attention when he was about to enter the NFL for his ability to play the football in the air. He's actually shown that he can tackle pretty well in the league, too. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Wilson throwing again. He will find the rookie from Ole Miss. That's DK Metcalf. 16 yards of first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. There's Wilson to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Metcalf once again the target, but it's going to be second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. To throw again. Wilson, rush coming. He's taken down. They can't stop us. They can't How about that? One of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Wilson and the Seahawks looking for something big following the sack. It's third and long here. Escaping the pressure right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. Someone knew exactly where he needed to get to pick up that first down. Now, I'm not so sure about the technique in getting there, but he went for it, and he got it. Exactly. He knew where he needed to get, because remember, if he slides, when that derriere dips, if you will, that plays over. The derriere dips, I like that one. Yeah, I've been working on it for a little bit. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. To throw on second and 10. Wilson, and this will be incomplete. 
Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Throwing is Wilson. Open man, it's Van Ed. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 18 yards at a first down. So in the Bear territory now, this is first and 10 at the 34. To throw again is Wilson, flushed out right. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. From the red zone now, here's Wilson on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Carson, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. They only got a yard out of that last completion. And that makes this second and nine. Wilson eluding the pressure right. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Russell Wilson with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. Well, he told us he was going to hit the end zone a couple times in this game. I just don't know that he envisioned doing it in the first quarter. He probably did. I'm not sure what we, <laughs> we did, did yeah. right? Because all the great ones, that's what they do. They dream about it, right? They think about it. They envision it. They think it's going to happen and almost will themselves into it. I just look at what he's done so far and just wonder what's left to come. Let's sit back and enjoy this one. Extra point up and through by Myers. And that pushes the lead up to 11. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Let's go! And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. The Bears on third down, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. They go play action with Trubisky. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. Back deep for the Seahawks, Tyler Lockett. This is fielded at the seven. 
An excellent return that time, 26 yards. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Russell Wilson now gears up to lead the offense again. And he's been busy with his feet. He's been quite the scrambling man. And obviously that can break down a defense, but a lot of it is just that they just get trapped with worrying about it so much that other things break down as well. You know, you break the huddle and you're not just playing what comes out at you. You're like, oh God, don't let him outside of the pocket. Don't let him beat us with his legs. And then he starts to beat you. There he goes, left side. And all the way in, touchdown sale. DK Metcalf. 67 yards, and the Seahawks add on to their lead. I know these wide receivers are about flash and dash and high-flying plays, but a good number of them played running back at some point in their career, and that's how they finish off a lot of their big plays, run after the catch. And this time he finishes off the big play in the end zone. The extra point now coming from Myers. And it's 21 to 3. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, long touchdown pass into the end zone. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. It's a short kick, taking it to 15. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before and realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Play action. Now Trubisky. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Here's Trubisky. Now Trubisky lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. When I see a play like that, I come back to risk-reward. I don't know about you, but is it worth it at that point, whatever you're going to pick up, to either take the hit, and in this case, lose the football. So it should have gone down. I mean, hindsight's always 20-20. End zone caught. Touchdown, Seattle. DK Metcalf with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Seahawks find a way to stretch their lead. But what a quick turnaround there. They get the football, next play, boom, touchdown. I've been in a situation before where a turnover occurs. If you're over on the bench with your defensive mate and you talk about what to do on your next series, and all of a sudden you hear sudden change, you've got to get out on the field and defend right away. Not everyone is mentally prepared to go. Is that what is yelled on the sidelines a lot of times? That, among other things. <laughs> Maybe some words we can't share here. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep this one PG. FCC violation. No doubt. Myers connects on the PAT, and a route is on here in this first half. And they're able to get the connection on the long touchdown pass, and that's one of the easiest drive summaries you'll ever see. One play, touchdown. The 
kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now Trubisky to throw. Middle of the field, it's Robinson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Looking to throw again, Trubisky. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for. But it'll be second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Again, it's Trubisky. Hits his target. It's Taylor Gabriel. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? Well, Charles looked like that had to be a mix up there defensively. You always question that type of confusion. They actually lost him in the middle of the field. Gave him all sorts of room to run. And he took big time advantage of it. That's an error you just can't make on the defensive side of the ball. Trubisky now already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now a handoff to Davis. Davis fighting. He loses the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Partner, you know how often we hear about the red zone, right? From the 20-yard line going in, that scoring zone, getting points on the board. A lot of teams call from the 10-yard line in the green zone. That's your money zone. He fumbles the ball inside the money zone. You have one job, take care of the ball. That didn't happen. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Throwing again on second and 10. Wilson, and he's dropped just shy of the 25 at the 24. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. incomplete. 
From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Here we go, let's bring it. Let's go. Here's Carson. Ha ha, Clinton Dix, the former Packer, in on the tackle. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Bears take over. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time, fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time around? It's a tester, that's for sure, because to be that close and come up with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive players, too, who thought, hey, we're going to put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds, let it go, memory. and move on to the next series. To throw again on second down. Trubisky throwing the out route incomplete. That's Miller. And he is down deep into Seattle territory. A huge play there for Chicago. 42 yards. But well, it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Here's a give to Davis. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. Bear in mind, that wasn't a big lineman back there for the tackle for loss. That was a cornerback. So are you saying the myth has been shattered? That all of them are not just cover corners? Some of them actually will stick their nose in and tackle when necessary? That's what we just saw, isn't it? Now this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, team. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football as they've got it second down and 11. Second and 11 now. Trubisky. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time. And now it's third down. The Bears on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and 11. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And that is incomplete. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. A 33-yarder from the left hash. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So another good job defensively because they've allowed three trips into the red zone, but only the two field goals. Yeah, that's the bend but don't break, isn't it? And they really didn't get broken at all because if you're running off the field having allowed two field goals and three trips in the red zone, you've actually come out ahead. Yeah, flip it over to the other side. The offense, they'll hope to cash in for six next trip. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. 
Here's Russell Wilson in the Seahawk offense now getting set to go again. And he's been good. Two first half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead. And... It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. Making a hat trick for Russell Wilson. Three touchdown passes now. And the Seahawks add on to their lead. So not only is that his third touchdown catch of the game, he's done it here in the first half. I'm not sure defensively what they're going to come up with to slow him down because already we're seeing him run past, over, through guys in order to make these catches. And being able to try and shut him down at this stage of the game, it's going to take a lot of effort. So maybe it'll open things up for some other people. Well, they better figure something out and soon. Extra point up and through by Myers. And a route is on here in this first half. And we can break that scoring drive down pretty easily. One play, long touchdown pass into the end zone. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and ten. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but... And he loses the football a second time. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. You, baby, you, baby. That's our ball. Our ball. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to come back onto the field. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. So maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That catch good for five. It's third down. And the Seahawks on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and five. This is Carson. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. I would think as a play call, you want to look for some quick hitters to your tight end. Any type of a route to replace where that linebacker was, because when you saw the speed with which he reacted and stopped that play, maybe use that speed against him in the future. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. And ball security has been a big issue. You see the numbers there. He's fumbled twice already. And whenever we talk about ball security, it's not simply how you're holding the ball when you run it. It's all the other things that you do. Is it in the proper arm, meaning the sideline is protecting you? Are you dipping a shoulder to protect the ball as well? And obviously, the four points of pressure to make sure it's tucked firmly against your body so people can't pop it out. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he has a great opportunity. He's taking full advantage of it. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. 
While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Just like that. Mike 50, Mike 50. Now it's Trubisky. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a first down on a gain of 10. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. Here's the first carry for Troy Cohen. He takes it down to the 42, a five-yard run. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll run on second down with Cohen. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. The Bears on third down, just one for five to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. Fourth down now after a loss of two. And not what you're looking to do on third and one, completing the pass, but going backward. I have zero X. And how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Seahawks are going to take over the football. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Wilson now off the bootleg. That's complete into the hands of Carson. No gain there, and it's going to bring up a third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll kick it away for the second time. And a fair catch called for and made at the 12-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And it'll be first and 10 Bears from deep in their own territory. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. And he'll be taken down at the 18. In on the tackle there, Bobby Wagner coming off a third straight All-Pro season. The Bears on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. This is third and four. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And the Seahawks defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Ezekiel Ansah drops him for a four-yard loss there, and that brings up fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Returnable for Lockett. 
51 yards on the punt there. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. This is caught inside the 15. It's a big play there for Seattle. 48 yards. Defense blitz, but they picked it up pretty well. Allowed their man to stand firm in the pocket and not be hurried, didn't it? That allowed him to make the nice throw downfield. He'll complete that play. Wilson. This will be caught just inside the 10. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That's good for a gain of six, second and goal. Second and goal from inside the five. Two times, two times. You got three. Oh. Now Wilson. Flush. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. A four-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks offense continues to pour it on. And those three rushing touchdown games in this league, you know darn well, those are hard to come by. They're becoming even harder to come by as the years go by, aren't they? Isn't that the truth? It doesn't matter what you do in terms of game planning. You may be a run-first team, but you're running against an NFL defense. That's some of the biggest, fastest, best athletes on the planet. Hard to do. Cherish that moment, even as he's eager to add to that total. Myers connects on the PAT, and a route is on here in this first half. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it was Russell Wilson finishing things off with a touchdown run. Kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded at the eight. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. You can count his carries on one finger. They've only given him the rock one time, Charles. What gives? So we can't draw any conclusions just yet. He has to touch the ball multiple times in order to get into a rhythm and have a chance to have success. You know who else gets into a rhythm? The offensive line. They feel better about what they're doing when they know they've had multiple opportunities to get it done. Yeah, well, the conclusion we can draw so far, they're losing here in the second quarter. Let's see if they change tunes. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. On second down now, it's Cohen. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. 18 yards on that one, and Chicago has the first. Trubisky now closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. Now Trubisky going to give this to Montgomery. Oh, it springs free. Montgomery loses it. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. 
And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the left. Got a man that's caught at the six-yard line. And finally out of bounds inside the five at the four. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Here's Wilson. Blitz coming, and down he goes. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. Pressure can come from all over when you're plotting a defensive strategy. And that particular play just came from the outside. It's caught right side, Dixon. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. On third and goal, Wilson. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A four-yard pickup, not enough. Fourth down. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. Myers' kick is good. And that will just add three more to a lead that's already out of hand. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one taken from the seven. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And for him, it's been pretty limited involvement. Down on the scoreboard, maybe time to turn to this guy. And you know me well. Pressure comes, he's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Al Woods able to get him for a loss of about three. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. Draw play here, Trubisky gives to Cohen. Up past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. The Bears on third down, it's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third and eight. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain of 32 that time. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Throwing here, Trubisky. Completes it to the tight end, Burton. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. You've got to try and get him some space where he can make a play down. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Cassius Marsh able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. Sometimes I watch games and wonder why they use play fakes on certain passing situations because it's not going to fool anyone. I don't know if that was the case here, but the end result was the same. No one fooled. Quarterback was hit. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, we quit counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third in a mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. Wilson, the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 22. Now Wilson. He's got a rifle one deep left side. And got his man complete. It's a big play there for Seattle. 41 yards. I don't think the coverage was the problem. The coverage was pretty good. The coverage was excellent, but what quarterbacks love to do, if they see the head of the defender away from the line of scrimmage, like they see the back of his helmet, 
They throw the football to the receiver with the understanding he'll make a play on the ball a little bit quicker than the defensive back can recover. We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. Escaping the pressure right. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. I like the design of that play, or shall I say, the way it ended up. Quarterback ends up to the right side. You know, gets outside of the pocket. How about the tight end staying in his sight line and getting to that same part of the field? And they find each other for the completion. The Seahawks on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This time they face a third and two. Again, Wilson. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And not much on the return there. He'll take it only up to the nine-yard line. Brandon, these cornerbacks have their hands full all afternoon long. But they finally get a measure of revenge as he gets himself in a nice spot. He's able to get two hands on the football and pick it off. After the interception, here's Trubisky. Caught by Montgomery. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. And he floated one out there incomplete. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. Here's Trubisky. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there. And it's third down. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion sets. Trubisky to throw again. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. That goes in the category of a play that the defense is going to cherish and excite them. A completion, yes, you give up the pass, but no gain. I mean, that's exactly what you want on defense. And sets up the fourth down. 21 yards, well done on the return. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. Less than 30 seconds to go in the half. Pretty good starting field position, all things considered. You'd think they definitely have time to get in the field goal range. Yes, and you get into the huddle or you come off the bench here and you call multiple plays because you're going to say, this is how we're going to run them in order, guys. You don't have time for audibles. You don't have time to change anything. You're trying to get the ball in position to at least get three. They've got a great shot to do it right here. Block 32. From midfield now, here's Wilson. Out to the flat, that's complete to his running back. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. To throw is Wilson. And Dixon over the middle. So we've reached halftime here in what is quickly turning into quite a route. As we send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one, maybe not the hard-fought battle many had hoped for. This has been blowout city thus far, but still more football to be played. Who knows what could happen? As we send you right back out to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. 
fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a do that. I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Second and 10 now from the 27. Now Trubisky. And it's incomplete. So many qualities coaches kick off when they talk about, hey, what is it going to take to make an excellent quarterback? Accuracy has to rank near the top of every list. Talk about arm strength, that's great. Mobility, great. But you need that accuracy in there. That one well in front of his man. Yeah, now they've got to face a big third down. And the Seahawk defense gets to him, and they bring him down. Jared Reed. In there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Here comes the Seahawks offensive unit. They'll have it first to begin the third. They have the lead here. What well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches, what are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. We Defense, got yeah. we, got the de we, got the, we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. There's Wilson to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. No gain on the play there. It'll be second down. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Now it's Wilson. Well, the ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. The good old cover three defense, partner. When you start playing football as a safety, that's the first thing you're taught. Middle of the field, be as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, and break on the football when it's thrown, and pick it off, just as we saw there. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. Partner, you know I love to point out when teams break tendency and do something a little bit different from the norm. But when you run the ball in the first play of the drive, that's not a tendency breaker at all. That's just trying to establish yourself as you move forward. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. You can't block me. You can't block me. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. Finding Gabriel complete. Touchdown, Chicago. Taylor Gabriel, 42 yards. And the Bears turn that interception into a touchdown. The catch and the touchdown, they were the end result of a terrific route run by the receiver. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. So they get one score back, but still a long ways to go here in this third quarter. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll 
He'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And out now come the Seahawks. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Wilson toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. And the Seahawks on third down. They've converted three times in eight chances. This is third and nine. Throwing is Wilson. And tight coverage there. It's knocked away, incomplete. Right, let's go ahead and try and get into the body and the mind of the linebackers. Yeah, I know they're bigger and stronger than I ever was, but in this situation, they understood what was going on as much as the offensive guys. Because the offensive guys are always taught, find the first down sticks and make the play. Well, on defense, what do you want to do? Guard the first down line. Make sure they don't get there and tackle them in front. They were able to drop in their zone coverage, figure out where the first down line was, and end up making the play, swatting it away so they couldn't get the completion. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 42. From the gun, it's Trubisky. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 49, and they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Rolling to his right. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. And the Seahawks on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This will be third and five. Now it's Wilson. And Dixon has it. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way, and yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action? I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. In on the tackle there, Bobby Wagner coming off a third straight all-pro season. And that's why you see a lot of teams that like to play 4-3 defense, especially against teams that run the ball. Through an opening, and there he goes. And all the way down to the 42. A huge play there for Chicago. 43 yards. Well, they know they've got a good starter. Now the guy coming in to spell him shows he can run it pretty good as well. And I think he appreciates the starter wearing people down, tiring them out a little bit. He took full advantage, didn't he? Came in with fresh legs and carried the ball. A little over 20 yards there, and in two plays, they've now moved the ball over 60 yards. This quarterback now over 300 yards now for the game and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. On second down and four, Trubisky. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. 
Out of the gun, Trubisky. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, Coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or, in this case, a field goal. Let's go! Let's go! The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. And the Seahawks on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and nine. Now Wilson. And that is incomplete. They tried to make something happen, but that one came up incomplete and really wasn't a good-looking throw. Yeah, maybe even go as far as to call that a little ill-advised. Yeah, I would say so. I think that's the right phrase for it. Definitely ill-advised. Just wonder about his mechanics right now, you know, and that's the tough part. You do so much stuff in practice to make it repetitive, but it has to repeat under pressure, whether it's pressure from the defense or just the pressure of playing the game. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at the 39-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. From the 44, Trubisky over the middle, and it's incomplete. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass thrown a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Now this is fielded in the end zone. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. He's got to be kicking himself right there. His team's already picked off two passes. That would have been the third in the game. And boy, they've really played well attacking the football. To throw again on second down. Wilson, the lock it with a grab over the middle. And he'll be upended after a gain of five up to the 25-yard line. The Seahawks on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. This will be third and five. It's caught right side, Dixon. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for first down. When the offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because there should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Throwing again here, Wilson. He's going to rifle one deep left side. 
And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Metcalf once again the target, and it'll bring up third down. To throw again is Wilson. And he comes back with one complete. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Bears' offense now getting ready to take over. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game, and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. 11 yards there, first down. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on. Because right now, he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what type of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? On second down, Montgomery. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. In on the tackle there, Bobby Wagner coming off a third straight All-Pro season. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to him quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did, and remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. The Seahawks offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first down. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Here we go. Now Wilson to throw again. And this is incomplete. It was Roquan Smith who got his big hand in there to knock it away. But there was no trace of nervousness there. He was able to diagnose that play from his linebacker position, stay in excellent coverage, and bat the ball away. Throw left side complete. That's Carson. Certainly not what they wanted there. No gain, and it's fourth down. Here's Wilson. That's to his running back complete. And unable to break away, they stop him a few yards shy. A surprising move to go for him, predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. And now the drive starts with a completion out to the right. An eligible receiver downfield, offense. Following the penalty, Montgomery. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. But they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. On third down, 
Trubisky. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. Well, they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. Another three on the board. He's been the lone bright spot. That's now four field goals. If this offense had finished a few drives, we'd be looking at a different complexion to this ball game because right now, the trade is really wrong for them, isn't it? They're trading field goals while the other team's scoring touchdowns. That's not going to work. This is fielded at the goal line. Yeah, he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 21. Flushed out right. And he takes this thing way down into Chicago territory. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Here's Wilson. Looking left side and he's got a man. It's Carson. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. Looking to throw again on second down. Wilson, this will be caught just inside the 10. And from the nine, they get this to the five-yard line. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Eluding the pressure right. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. He was able to get away earlier in the drive, but apparently all the time they put in practice finally came to the front, didn't it? They remembered their lessons and found a way to contain him when he took off on that one. So good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coach is always talking about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or in this case, a field goal. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Now the Bears offense ready to take over again. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. They want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now with shotgun handoff to Cohen. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 11 yards there, first down. 
Well, defensively, with this lead in the fourth quarter, I guess you can allow a run of that magnitude. You're right about that, but really the focus has got to be don't fall in love with the idea that you're getting big runs now. You're right. They're actually being allowed. They've got to think really hard about getting some chunk plays through the air, too. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. I think that was a pretty good read right there. They caught him in zone defense and went to the hitch. And because they're in zone, that creates a natural space between the defenders and the receiver, able to get it to him quickly and let him get upfield. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Well, they obviously read man coverage there, partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Broke yeah, up. he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Again, it's Trubisky. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Ziggy Ansah able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Out of the gun, running with Cohen. That'll get a little bit back, give him five on the run, and they'll be left with a third and 13. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. From the shotgun is Trubisky. Able to find Shaheen here. The 20! And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Adam Shaheen, 49 yards. And the Bears get a bit closer. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And that will cut this lead down to 25. So that drive goes eight plays. And the end result is a Bears touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded at the two. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. They'll get a couple yards on that one, and it'll be fourth down. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on to punt for Seattle. A 
call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And that will come the offense as they take over. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 right at the 30. They'll start with a give to Cohen. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Brandon, that play certainly felt like what I call a tendency breaker. First and 10, they dial up a draw play. That's not a normal situation, but give credit to the defense. They weren't fooled at all and really finished off the play. He'll be stopped at the 35, but not before he picks up seven yards. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Now it's Trubisky. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Their already slim hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. And it is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. Well, that's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen him do things like this all game. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sacked back at the 38. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. To throw is Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Carson. Give him seven on the play, and they're going to have a third down. The 25-yard line is what they need here. This is third down. Now Wilson. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And their lead will swell up to 28. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. But now the Bears coming out as they get ready. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened You think there. that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Looking to throw Trubisky on first down. That's complete right side to Gabriel. A huge play there for Chicago. 52 yards. Now Trubisky to throw. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Nice gain of eight that time, and it's second and goal. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? They'll run for it with Tariq Cohen. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football, and the Seahawks have picked it up. And a cut to the right and some open field here. He's at the 50, the 40. He's at the 30. Pass the 20. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. Well, there you go, from red zone to red zone on that fumble return. It's amazing how fast things can turn around, isn't it? I mean, it looks like one team's driving, got everything taken care of. All of a sudden, the ball's on the ground or popped in the air, and whoosh, 
there you go in the other direction. Good job by the defense. You see how they practiced that, too. You can tell, coordinated. As soon as they got the ball, everyone turned to block someone and try and help him along the way. And now set up here in terrific field position. Uh, and, and am I seeing this correctly? They brought out the field goal team here on first down. And Myers able to knock it through. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or in this case, a field goal. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Bears offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. They're difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Quentin Jefferson in there to record another sack. And that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Now it's Lockett. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Seahawks offense now. They get set to go back to work. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself. But you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time. And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row. They were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out. But for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game. And that's always puzzled me a little bit. They stop them for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And we have reached the two-minute warning. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 11. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Wide open receiver complete. And he is down deep into Seattle territory. Let's go, boys. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. Now it's Trubisky. As much football as we watch, we've seen this work many times. In the red zone, first down, take a shot at the end zone, and points result. In this case, though, give credit to the defense. They outguessed them, were prepared, and intercepted the pass. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is gonna wind up incomplete. Despite the lead here in the fourth, they're still taking shots. Not content to sit on this lead at all. And to me, it raises the question of what's right in this game nowadays? Do you sit on the ball and run it because you have enough of a lead? Or do you try and extend it because you always feel like the other team can come back? Extend it. Have some fun. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Wilson. And that will be incomplete. 
Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field, and really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. So possession here go. goes here over go. here on the punt, here and the Bears take over. The Bears in good field position to start out first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. Caught out left side by Robinson. Now Robinson coughs up the football, it's loose. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. 25 yards that time. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Wilson wants to throw it. This will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. Brings up second and goal at the four-yard line. Second and goal from inside the five. And we gotta get to the ball, team. We gotta get to the ball. Now a give right side. Carson. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that's gonna bring up an interesting third and goal. like he tried to stop the clock but the clock wasn't even moving and they're going to go for this thing they're not going to leave anything to chance they're going to roll the dice on fourth and goal now Wilson flush to his right he can run for it and he will and able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. The Seahawks go for it, but can't convert. And the Bears will get the football back. One last shot for Trubisky. And this is going to be a safety as Trubisky gets swallowed up in the end zone. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here. And that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. They'd be <laughs> chanting, go, start the bus, because they think this one is over. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Why were they clicking on offense? They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Seahawks here as we say so long from Seattle.